that's how you could survive Germany is by making friends. How many of us have them? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Natalie Ray here and welcome to today's video. Q&A slash baking pancakes from scratch. I love pancakes, but I don't know how to make them. I try and make them every other weekend just so I could perfect them, but I have had no luck. It's been like about five times already that I've tried making pancakes and they're just, they, they just don't come out good. So Phoenix got me this griddle that I'm really excited to use. I've actually used it once already to make sopes. Um, who would have thought? But it just worked out perfect for the sopes, but that's not the reason why I wanted it. I wanted it to make pancakes. Phoenix, is that you or the gelato man? Hold on. It's the gelato man and I want some, but it's still too early. Why would he come at this time? I wonder if I'm gonna have to wait until he leaves so I could continue this, cause... O-M-G-J-K-L-M-P So I'm so excited to finally do it today. I know it is so easy to make pancakes for all of you guys. I've heard it. I just, I just can't make them, especially because I'm making them from scratch. Like I'm not using no pancake mix and I know that would probably be my best option for me to just go to the store and buy pancake mix but i don't want to get pancake mix when i can make them myself and then again like i do want to learn how to make them so i'm hoping today is the day before we continue if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe down below right now also make sure you click that little notification bell button it's right next to the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out from any of my upcoming new videos and if you would like to follow me on instagram at natalie Rea, that's how you can find me so the first thing that we're doing is obviously getting started by preparing our pancake mix. Um, I also asked you guys on Instagram to ask me questions for today's Q&A and a lot of you guys asked a lot of questions about my baby. So I tried picking just a few about the baby and in general of Germany. So I'm going to try and like kind of pick some random ones. First of all, I have tried probably like five freaking recipes and none of them like it, they just don't work on me but i feel like it's my fault because i do cut everything in half because i do make pancakes just for myself phoenix doesn't like pancakes i feel like he does but he just doesn't like my pancakes so i have a small little recipe here flour sugar baking powder salt milk oil and one egg and for all these measurements they're just like one cup or two tablespoons so i'm just cutting everything in half okay so the first question is going to be when your baby girl has arrived will your family go and see her and yes short answer is yes long answer is my mom dad and baby sister are coming to germany in october i got their tickets two weeks after my due date for a few reasons one it's gonna be the first time here so i kind of want to show them around and two <laughs> it's gonna be their first time and i want to show them around so i really wanted my mom to be here for the birth but if that was to happen she would have to come one week before my due date and stay two weeks after a week before my due date there's really nothing that we can do like we can't go out we can't leave germany or anything like that because we're gonna be so close to the due date and then two weeks after i feel like the baby's still gonna be like super super small for us to go anywhere so that's why i chose for them to come two weeks after my due date just because that gives me and phoenix enough time to spend alone time with our baby and after the two weeks i just feel like it's gonna be i'm gonna feel a lot better knowing that the first two weeks we stayed home and then after the two weeks we'll, we'll be able to go out so yes mom dad and little sister are coming to germany so here's my half cup of all-purpose flour it is supposed to be one full cup but it's just me and baby girl, so we're just doing half a cup. So this next one is, how do you like living in Germany? And the answer is, I like it. I actually love Germany. I love that we're here, but I do struggle with it because I'm a huge family person. So I miss my parents every single day. I miss my entire family every single day. So now I'm adding one tablespoon of sugar. This next one is, how much longer are you guys going to be in Germany? And i just checked and we're actually going to be here for another one year and a half so that's all we have left one and a half one year six months baking powder one tablespoon oh schnapps for my salt it says to add one teaspoon but last time i did that it was really salty so i'm literally just adding like a pinch 
maybe two. All right, out of nowhere, I'm starving. So I'm gonna try and do this a little bit faster. This next one is, where are you from? And I love answering this question because I love saying where I'm from. So I was born in California, but raised in Arizona. We moved to Arizona when I was seven years old. So I pretty much just remember my life in Arizona and I lived in Arizona up until I was like 20, I, I want to say 22, I don't know, I could be wrong. But I am Mexican and my parents are from Michoacan, so the correct answer would be from Michoacan. Okay, so the next thing to do is add milk and it says to add one cup. Again, since I'm only doing half of everything, I'm just going to add half a cup. Okay. Then I'm adding my egg and piece of the shell went in and I don't see it. Oh my goodness, Natalie. Like you can't see where it landed. <laughs> I doubt I'm gonna be able to find that. So now I just have to make my piece with knowing that there's a piece of shell in my pancake mix. So I can't forget the oil and I'm adding one tablespoon. I've seen a lot of people use butter. Should I use butter? I'm just gonna add damn oil. Honestly, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and add some syrup. This is not on the list of the ingredients, but Phoenix always tells me to add syrup for some reason because that's how he grew up making pancakes. So I'm just, I'm just gonna add some. Okay, so the next question is, would it be an option for you to stay in Germany and raise your child here? Like I said, I have nothing against Germany. I love Germany and I've thought about it a few times already where we're driving by like small little towns and I tell Phoenix like, if we get a house out here, I would totally live out here for a few more years. I don't have any issues with Germany. I know a lot of people complain because they can't like find all of their resources that they're used to back in the States. But I mean, I feel like you could get away you just have to make friends with germans um and you know just get out more but i love how chill it is here in germany i love going through all of these towns and seeing all of these beautiful town homes like they have huge backyards huge front yards everything is so green like i i i guess i wouldn't have an issue if for some reason they were to tell us oh you guys have to stay in germany for another three years like i i don't think i would have an issue with that but because it is kind of like our choice I don't think we would. <laughs> I don't know why I'm actually really scared <laughs> to put the pancake mix in this griddle. Am I supposed to be using pan? Like I took it out, but I'm not sure. This is supposed to be a non-stick. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'll do one in the center. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm gonna ruin it. Okay. I did it. Is this too watery? I feel like it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one tablespoon at a time. And they're gonna be, oh, that's too tiny. Let me see if I could do two tablespoons. These are so freaking cute. Okay, two tablespoons seems like good enough. Oh, I forgot. I said I was only gonna do one to test it out to see how hot it was. This is so freaking messy, but I am totally loving how I could do so many at once. So this next question is, what is your favorite date night? And I, f I feel like I had a lot more options back home in like stateside, but here, here, I feel like our date nights are more like staying in. I love staying in and playing board games, like family games, just Phoenix and I, we play guess who. Oh no, I love speed. I love poker. He doesn't like playing poker, but anything that has to do with like board games and just like him and I chilling at home, um, drinking, obviously not right now, and good food. I feel like that is like the perfect date night for us. <laughs> oh, they're per. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think I want to do. Oh, that was not ready. <laughs> I'm going to do two more. This next one is so freaking cute. It says, so are all the fans me gonna throw you a quarantine drive-by baby shower or what? This is so cute, Gabby. So freaking stinking cute. So I've actually been like feeling a little bit down about the fact that I've been seeing all of these videos back at home where everyone is doing like these drive-by baby showers. If you guys haven't seen them, they're the freaking cutest, especially when there's so many cars and you have so many friends and family and 
they're just like non-stop passing by i think that is the cutest thing and they kind of make me sad because i'm like oh my goodness like i'm not gonna have that i'm not gonna have a baby shower and i can't even have like the drive-by baby shower because we're over here in germany and we don't really know a lot of people to do that but hey if you want to check out my baby registry on amazon and natalie shields this next one is do you feel baby kicks every day or some days you feel it and some days not so i do feel baby girl kick every single day throughout the entire day and if i don't feel her for like maybe a few hours i'll be like okay baby girl where are you kick me like i just i love feeling her this next one is what do you like the most about living in germany and what do you dislike the most so what i like the most about living in germany is the traveling can you just Oh, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, traveling is what I like the most about Germany and what I dislike the most is not having my family here because there's really nothing wrong with Germany. Especially if you love drinking, which Phoenix and I love drinking, love going to beer gardens. There's beer gardens everywhere. This next one is, is your baby going to be born in Germany? And yes the baby girl is going to be born in germany her birth certificate is going to say born in germany but she is going to be a u.s citizen this next one is when you pcs to germany what was the most difficult part of the process i i honestly didn't have any issues with pcsing and the process for us it happened so fast so we knew we were coming to germany for a good few months but it doesn't really happen until you get your hard orders and if you're military you know what i'm talking about so a lot of people tend to freak out about oh we haven't gotten our hard orders but we leave in two months and what could we do to speed the process and whatnot so for us we literally did everything in like under one month but then again we didn't have any pets or any children so it's just really easy to just deal with me myself in phoenix everything was so smooth um once we got here because we didn't ship out any vehicle um, we were walking everywhere but because we were staying on base it was so easy like you can literally walk everywhere in the base so we ended up buying a vehicle like two weeks after being here and it, after that everything was just like super easy awesome, it's my pancakes and i hope you could have some let me move these guys out of the way this next one is how to survive in there not knowing anything or anybody honestly make friends so that's gonna be the best thing for you to do even though i can't even take my own advice like i'm so i'm so awkward with people but i would love to have friends and get together and go places because there is a lot to do in germany so yeah that's how you could survive germany is by making friends how many of us have them i'm gonna do one big one. Ooh, ooh, she big this is pretty much how pancakes are supposed to be but your girl wanted them tiny i don't know i'm kind of wishing i would have made them this big <laughs> i gotta try one so i don't know how pancakes are supposed to taste maybe that's why i'm not liking them but i want them like i feel like i know what they're supposed to taste like so when i make them and i'm actually having them like they just don't live up to my expectations I'm adding some butter. This actually looks freaking good. And I think this one's ready to be flipped. Oh, oh she's so freaking cute. Now I'm just going to eat the rest of these pancakes and answer a few more questions. So this next one is, are you uploading a baby girl name? I love but won't be using now for this one there was a lot of messages that had to do with like the baby names if i have a baby girl name um but i do want to upload a baby girl name that we love but won't be using however i need baby girl name ideas because i don't really have a lot there's a few that i have that phoenix doesn't like and there's a few that he likes that i don't like so we right now we have no baby girl name chosen and i hate that because i literally think about it every single day like oh we need a baby girl name like we need one we need one we need one so if you guys have any baby girl name suggestions let me know comment down in the comments i would like to hear them out this next one is how are you dealing with pregnancy during these times by the way i love your videos mm, thank you so much <laughs> you guys i get so emotional nowadays um yeah 
Okay, that's part of the answer. Thank you so much, Elsie. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, how I'm feeling during these times being pregnant? Honestly, because I still have like three, is it three or four more months left? I don't feel as scared, but it does freak me out for everyone else who is pregnant right now and are due very, very soon. Like that is just scary. So obviously this started like two months back. So a lot of people don't have everything that they need for their baby to come and that freaks me out. Loki gives me anxiety, but because I still have like three four more months like i'm not really worried about it okay last question that i'm going to be answering is do you feel like a mom yet and i do feel like a mom already obviously like as soon as you find out you're pregnant you want to try and do everything to just keep your baby safe and that's exactly how i feel like everything that i eat I google before I eat like yesterday we had pho and there was bean sprouts in it so I googled can you have pho and all the ingredients and bean sprouts were one of the things that I couldn't have so I feel like that ruined the pho a tiny bit even though it was really good but that's what I mean by like freaking out about everything like everything that I do I just want to make sure that it's safe for myself and the baby so I feel like that's what makes me feel like a mom <laughs> all right you guys I still have like five pancakes left which isn't a lot and i feel like i could eat them maybe in like 30 minutes but for now i am ending today's video right here i do want to give out a shout out and today's shout out goes out to camilla garcia shout out to you girl and if any one of you guys will also like a shout out all you have to do is make sure to please subscribe and comment anything your big old heart desires i love you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to join the royal family and i will see you guys soon bye guys